right, pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, a tragedy strikes after Frank Hackman returns to haunt Sonny in the episode Deliver Us From Evil. On this weekend, Vice will be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from April 18th to May 1st, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on April 23rd, the first smoking ban took effect on all U.S. domestic flights that had a duration of two hours or less. Eventually, smoking would be banned on all domestic flights six hours or less in 1990 and all flights in the year 2000. Congress passed legislation banning smoking in 1987 and finally took effect in April 1988. An interesting twist, pilots weren't required to stop smoking after the ban over concerns of nicotine withdrawals and flight safety. In music, after two weeks at the top of the Hot 100, Billy Ocean is replaced by the one and only Whitney Houston. Moving into the top spot is Where Do Broken Hearts Go? From the album Whitney, the song is the fourth number one from the platinum album. Houston would have seven number one songs in the 80s and essentially always had a song on the Hot 100. In movies, Beetlejuice rightfully keeps its place at the top of the box office, so we have to go to the archives. Hiding behind Tim Burton's behemoth is the astonishing film Stand and Deliver. Based on a true story of an East L.A. math teacher, it has an all-star cast, including Lou Diamond Phillips, Rosanna DeSoto, Andy Garcia, and Miami Vice's own Edward James Olmos. Stand and Deliver was critically acclaimed, including a Best Actor nomination for Olmos for his portrayal of Jaime Escalante. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.